Saw in a couple of Luthier forums, there was a bunch of talk on Glue Boost as a finished product. I saw the website, reached out to Rick, and said I wanted to do a demo of some of your guys' products. I've used Super Glue in the past on Spalted Maple when I did that Spalted Maple Les Paul. Really needed to help strengthen that wood. It was really porous, was hard to work with, and as it's crumbling, you need something that really seeps into the pores, and Super Glue was the way to go. He's got two products. One is the fill and finish pro formula. There's a thin and a regular formula. The thin is for harder wood, so it goes a little bit deeper, such as ebony and maple. The regular formula, pro formula fill and finish, is used for more porous woods, like this Buckeye Burl that we're gonna be finishing today in this. And then the master glue product is used for more or less as a super glue. There again is a regular formula and a thin formula. Same concept as before. So I wanted to give this stuff a test today. We're going to be finishing this Buckeye Burl uh, guitar, tally guitar. I reviewed this piece of wood in my Luthier wood review years ago. Never got a chance to finish it. But it's a beautiful top. Got a little bit black binding floating around it. And we want to use the fill and finish pro formula. Get it on here and see what this looks like. It's a clear formula. It should leave this coloring perfect. Didn't want to add any additional color. You can see the nice flame and burrow running through this. So this will be a great project to see how this works. I'm also going to use the Glue Boost Accelerator. So I'm going to put some on, work it on, hit it, let it sit, go back over it. Doesn't sound like this process is going to take too long based on applying and spraying. First thing it says is you need to clean off with acetone. Don't really want to do that because of my binding. But when you use acetone on wood, what it's going to do is it's going to pull off any oil or any grease or anything that you have left on. So I'm going to be very careful around the sides. But also in doing this, you can see how beautiful this figure is. So the acetone is going to break down any oils that are in, in the wood. So just a little bit of garbage comes up. This has been all dry, it's been 15 minutes, I've got some fill and finish pro formula, got my gloves on. Using an old t-shirt here. I'm going to ball this up. Rub this in. Work this in. This stuff is already pretty hard. And as I'm applying it, you can feel it sort of harden up. And it's workable, and then it hardens. So it's got a nice long open time, which is great. And since it's super glue, my fingers are stuck together. 
but I'm just going to go through and work my way around this piece. Rick was saying you can apply this with a paper towel and I wasn't so sure I wanted to do that. I'm so used to using cut up t-shirts. I do have my shop vented, I got my fan going. It smells not too bad. It's interesting doing it this way. Now I know why people use the t-shirt or the paper towels. This is becoming a little bit too hard to use. But a nice clear finish. So that's the first coat. See some stuff sitting. It's looking pretty good. We've wiped up anything that's floating. This stuff is rock hard now. And the reason I'm using this Super glue on the Buckeye Burl is Buckeye Burl can sometimes be a little bit spalty in spots. I've got a crack running through this right here, and so this will help fill that crack and hold the wood together. So we're just going to let this sit. I think I've worked in all the material. Feels like it. A lot of the stuff is pretty hard already. We're gonna let this sit for about 20 minutes, then we'll come back and hit the accelerator and put another coat on. I wanna change my gloves, get some paper towels, so. All right, here we go with the second coat. I let this dry about 20 minutes. It's rock hard. It's not sticky at all. Didn't need to use the accelerator. Really nice. Top hardens up nicely. The crack that was going here is now solid. A couple spots where my binding is loose, and I'll use the glue to sort of fill that and glue it back on. But I got a paper towel now. Once I've got that first coat on, the stuff goes on really nice now. It does require a bit of work. What's cool is you can feel it on and sticks on. Definitely keep your shop ventilated. Got the fan blowing fresh air on me. Stuff's not too bad. So we'll get the accelerator.
Love that there's no pitting, no bubbling. Everything dries rock hard. Not sticky after using this. Definitely needs to be scuffed up now. Pretty amazing. This part is glued on now. Love that. So we'll get some sandpaper. Just got some 600 grit. So after sanding back, I took a cloth and just wiped it down. I'm actually really impressed with how solid this finish is and I'm really impressed with how smooth this surface is. Like glass, definitely not like an oil where you still get some ridges. This is definitely a harder finish. Really impressed with it. So for the second, actually for the third coat, I'm using the thinner formula because I've already got everything sealed and I want to get a nice even coat, nice thin even coat. So I'm going sort of with the true oil principle, thinner coats after those first couple of heavy coats. This stuff moves a little bit better. And it's a little bit glossier. So I've got so many coats on already. It's got great workability. I can feel like I'm moving it along pretty good. It starts to get a little bit hard. Got great open time, no bubbles, stuff dries really hard. For spalt and burl like this, this is a really amazing finishing product. Builds really nicely. We'll hit this with the accelerator and put another coat on. So I took this over to the buffer and this looks absolutely amazing. I had no idea this would actually come out this nice. I sanded down to 2000 with the power sander and then took it right to the buffer. Didn't do any prep. There's a couple swirl lines from the sanding I could probably clean up. But you can't believe how awesome this looks. I did not think that a super glue would be able to give you this type of finish and look. If I really wanted to just seal up the grain, I would have put the first coat on, sand it, and then to put an oil. I usually don't like having burls with a gloss finish, but this looks outstanding. With the black binding, really gives it a neat look. This is fill and finish. Pro formula thick first, so the regular formula first. And then for the second and third and fourth coat, I went with the thin finish. Really outstanding product. 15 bucks a bottle, I would say I used maybe about a little bit more than half the bottle. So you could definitely get two guitars out of this. And for the ease of use, I would definitely use this again. And this will be used again in my shop. Nice, thick, hard finish. Really have no problem using this. So this is Glue Boost. Awesome product nice hard thick super glue finish that you can buff 
And if I really wanted to, I could have finished this in a day, actually in a couple hours, which adds an amazing amount of time to doing some of this stuff. So thanks for watching, guys. Pick up your own bottle of Glue Boost, and we will see you in the next vid.